niche space that could eventually become your niche market. And, and subsequently to that, then they would expand your business growth. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, try and um, make inroads into funding institutions that have particularly tailored um, packages that are meant for your sector. We spoke about um, institutions like the Industrial Development Corporation because we think that they've prioritized the sector of business that you're in. And so I'd, I would encourage you to look at those funds that they've got available um, to grow your business. The third thing is Try and not focus so much on the big energy generators um, like ESCOM. Think about how you, you sell your value proposition of the work that you do, the service that you offer to municipalities that are more in need of your service on a daily and a monthly basis. And I think that will go a long way in helping stretch and address your cash flow problems that you have. So not only are you unique in fact that you know your business well, because it sounds quite technical to me, but you're unique in that you are good, honest, hardworking people. But I think that you've got to present that message confidently and just be proud of what you do and don't be scared to charge for your service. You guys are almost too good to be true in the way I see it. And, you know, very often in business we get people who kind of talk a great game and eventually they invent their way to the truth. Don't get aced out by people like that. But you won't get anywhere unless you find a good core group of people who are going to run your business with you. Don't see them that they people who work for you. they people who work with you in growing what is a dream. You need to be proud of what you do. And I can't wait until the time where you can actually sit up and prove that this can be done and be an example to what we so desperately need in this country of ours. Good luck to you and Sia Bonga. So Leslie, some excellent advice to help you take African Olive to the next level. And uh, I'm curious, what do you think your next few steps will be? Well, certainly the things that we can do immediately is, I think, which is very important, is getting that core team together so that we can look at exploring um, different things that are happening within our industry and how we can impact our industry. And then certainly we, we need to look at those longer term contracts, not just for the tendering, but for how we can um, extend our contracting and get into more maintenance type of work. And then also I think what is something we can look at, explore, is um, the different funding options. You know, the advice that we got was excellent. And then also um, I think looking at a more strategic longer term view is um, looking at how we can get into the renewable energy space. And because of our specialized skill, what we can add to that so that we can be more competitive as we move forward. Well, exciting times ahead. All the best. Thank you very much. Sure. You can see those top tips again on simplybiz.co.za, NetBank's small business community, where you can access useful tools and guides to help you drive your business to success. Thank you for joining us tonight on NetBank's big show for small business. It's My Biz is just one of the ways NetBank makes its vote for small business. Here's more. As a small business owner, you know that cash flow is a volatile thing. Some months you have plenty of cash and other months it runs dry. So what you need from a bank is flexibility. NetBank offers you just that with a revolving business credit card, and it's the first in South Africa. With a NetBank revolving business credit card, you can extend your payment terms. You benefit from up to 55 days interest-free credit. You can choose to pay the minimum of 5% on your month-end outstanding balance or the full outstanding balance 10 or more days before it's due to get cash back or earn NetBank greenbacks points. And you can redeem your points for things like flights, weekends away, electronic gadgets, business supplies, and even for investing in Ned Group Investments unit trusts. It's the kind of solution you'd expect from a partner that votes small business. Get greater flexibility today. Sign up for Ned Bank's comprehensive business offering at simplybiz.co.za. Ned Bank is proud to vote small business. Make things happen. Ned Bank. Once they're in, you have to focus relentlessly on owning that customer experience. But what you want to explore now is how do you reach the rest of the country and how do you reach the rest of the world. And I think craft, in terms of trends, is at that same crossroads. It, it, it's going to another level um, and, and, and we, we've got a recession to thank, thank for that. What I think it could do a little bit better is communicate the depth of your relationship with your suppliers 
to your customers. Rearranging the, the mannequin in your shop or uh, even placing orders with your suppliers uh, are, are things that you can have other people help you with. The, the one social media platform that I'm, I'm putting my, my money on is, is visual marketing. That's on you in terms of training your staff and making sure they have the skills to do their job well and complete that customer experience and have me leaving the store a truly satisfied customer.